Hello, I'm Rob from Longhead Music and today I'm listing a couple of items in a job lot. I have a Proteus 3 World Sound module for keyboards and I also have a Proteus 2 Orchestral Sound module for keyboards. Um, now, on the back they each have uh, a MIDI in, out and through connector and they also have the uh, main outputs which are what you're going to be using most of the time and two sub outputs. Um, now these are basically samplers so you plug your keyboard into these and they play samples although you can't sample with them they just have the um, the inbuilt samples or orchestral samples or world sound samples that they come with. Um, so let's go plug them in and see what they can do. Okay so um... I've got this wired up at the moment to my CME um, MIDI controller. It's just a MIDI cable coming out of the back of the controller keyboard and going directly into the input on the Proteus. Now, um, I've plugged in the Proteus 2XR orchestral version first, so we'll have a listen to some of the orchestral sounds. Now, this is how it works. It's really, really simple it's got a, a master button here which is what you press to get all of the settings um, that relate to the entire uh, system. Uh, you've got a data wheel to change the settings and then you've got a, a cursor to move the cursor along one position and then enter to um, enter to affirm that that is the change that you want it to make. But to get back to that's that's kind of where you change your um, uh, your MIDI uh, channel and tuning and all that that kind of various uh, stuff um, but to get back to normal if I just hit master once again it gets back to the normal mode and as you can see it's uh, got some readouts as to the volume the panning and the the sound that it's currently playing now I'll take you through all of the sounds going from um, uh, the very first uh, number one all the way up through all the sounds so you can have a listen to them all and see what they sound like. Righty ho, so I'm just going to put that down there for a moment and uh, here we go, this is the solo viola. <laughs> Kind of adjust the intensity of the sound so you can make it sound more like a real musician by <laughs> by, uh, by playing with the um, uh, modulation wheel there it does also uh, answer to pitch bend command okay so anyway that's the first sound I'm just flicking through the sounds here by uh, by just twisting this um, uh, data wheel here. It's very easy. Solo violin. basis. Thank you. 
tweaking a little bit over there. Legato Carto bass. Turn it back up again now. It's Carto cello. It's Carto violas. It's Carto violins. Pizzicato one.
phone. We're at the end of the sounds. Now, um, as you can see, I was adjusting the sound there with uh, with this volume control on the right hand side. Um, there's a few different things on the front panel here. There's the on off switch and the MIDI indicator, uh, which just lets you know that it's receiving MIDI notes. Um, there's the edit button there, which uh, you can edit the preset. Um, and uh, but other than that, it's a really simple interface. And uh, I'll just show you around the back as well. We have uh, the MIDI in, out and through, and two sub outputs and the main outputs. So basically you can, you can give it a, um, a MIDI signal and uh, select which outputs you want it to come out of and then mix on an analog console if you really want to. Um, or you could send it send it into the computer, loads of instruments at the same time. Remember, you've got 16 MIDI channels, and each, I believe each of those MIDI channels can be assigned to a different sound, so loads of different options there. Um, so uh, anyway, that's the Proteus orchestral model. I'm now going to swap to the world model, and we'll have a listen to some of the sounds from that. Right, so I've just plugged in and set up the uh, Proteus world sound. Um, it's the Proteus 3 XR. Um, and we'll go through all the way from the first sound to the last sound again and see the different sounds that we can get. Okay, so we've got Troubadour first. It's a very quiet sound, I'm going to have to adjust the volumes on, on this one this time.
Celtic split. found the last one there at 318 sounds so loads of different sounds on the world one okay so I hope you get an idea of what's possible with the two Proteus sound module units uh, even though it was really just me going through all the sounds so that you could hear them all um, but uh, anyway as you can see there's a lot of possibilities and loads of different sounds there to mess with um, so uh, I've got both of these units as a job lot listed on eBay at the moment. Uh, if you want to purchase those, um, then I'll put the eBay um, a link to the eBay uh, listing in the description. Otherwise, best of luck with the auction, and uh, hope it goes well. Cheers. <laughs>